Right, this video is going to briefly go over the per capita production function, talking about labor productivity. So this curve that I've drawn here shows the relationship between capital per capita, or the amount of capital, or tools, machines, that each person in the economy has, and the relationship with GDP per capita, so how much that person can produce. So as you can see, when capital per capita is zero, you can't produce much. It's hard to create things without tools. But as you start introducing capital to the economy, you see great gains in the beginning. But as you keep putting more and more capital into the economy, you see these diminishing returns. And we call that diminishing returns to capital. Also, this doesn't tell the whole story. If you find some people have it, some people don't, in your textbook that you have a production function. Y, which is GDP, is equal to A, level of technology, K, the amount of capital, raised to some exponent, and L, the amount of labor in the economy, raised to some exponent. The reason we see these diminishing returns to capital is because our coefficient, this alpha here, is less than 1. I don't know if that's too much information, so I'm not going to delve into it, but that's the reason we see diminishing returns to capital. So the other side of the story here is technology. We don't consider labor because both of these terms are per capita, so that means per individual, so we just ignore labor. Or you can see the other video about how I divide both sides by L to get that out of here. But let's focus on technology. If technology increases, how do we represent that on this graph? We do it by shifting the line up. So when the line goes up, that's due to an increase in technology. So technology gets better. That can take the form of human capital. Uh, it can take the form of better management processes. Or it can take the form of more efficient capital. So maybe better software, smarter, smarter robots, that sort of thing. So when you're interested in labor productivity, and hence economic growth, increasing capital can only do so much as you keep increasing capital over time. You see that here we have identical increases in capital, but we don't see identical increases in GDP. So what do we do? We have to make technological gains, because each time technology gets better, we see another shift in our per capita production function line.